Hey little or shakers, it's Miss Freddle and the children's director. This is a new month, it's the month of December and I'm so excited because this series is all about light show. What do you think of when you hear light show? You think of fireworks, you think of bright light, you think of Christmas lights. Let's go into worship and get all jolly into the spirit as we kick off our first week of worship in the month of December. about light show it's a celebration of how God is a light to the world he brought Jesus for his sacrifice and to be a light let's tune into the story and hear about Elizabeth and Zachariah how they couldn't have a baby but what happens at the very end the Bible it's 66 books of history stories letters and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 1. 
Zechariah and Elizabeth lived in the hill country of Judah. Both Zechariah and Elizabeth came from the family line of priests. But while many priests made a big show of their work just to impress other people, Zechariah and Elizabeth actually loved and served God. Dear God, help us to follow your commands in all we say and do. And please, please give us a child. Through many long years, Zechariah and Elizabeth had been unable to have children. Bless their hearts. They must have done something wrong for God to let this happen. But God wasn't punishing Zechariah and Elizabeth. In fact, one year Zechariah got an amazing opportunity. His group of priests gathered about twice a year in Jerusalem to serve God in the temple. Zechariah, you've been chosen. Me? <gasps> to go inside the holy place? Each year, one priest was selected to enter the temple and burn incense before God. Now, with 1,000 priests in this group, this could have been a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Wow. Okay. I'm ready. As the other priests waited outside, praying to the Lord, Zechariah entered the beautiful holy place of the temple. Carefully, from a golden censer, he spread incense over glowing coals on the altar. The fragrance filled the air like the prayers of the priests outside. There, all done. But as Zechariah turned to go, bright light blazed up on the right side of the altar. <gasps> oh! A dazzling angel towered over the altar. Zechariah stumbled back. Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Oh, uh, thank you. Which prayer? Your wife, Elizabeth, will have a child. A child? Zechariah struggled to think clearly. It will be a boy, and you must call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you. His birth will make many people very glad. He will be important in the sight of the Lord and filled with the Holy Spirit. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God, and he will prepare the way for the Lord. That's, uh, but Elizabeth, uh, how can I be sure of this? We're both old enough to be great-grandparents. The light burned even brighter, and Zechariah shielded his eyes. I am Gabriel. I serve God. I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now, you will have to be silent. You will not be able to speak until after John is born. That's because you did not believe my words. They will come true at the time God has chosen. Zechariah tried to respond, but no sound came from his lips. These words will come true at the time God has chosen. The light flared and then dimmed. Zechariah found himself alone again. Stunned, he staggered out of the temple. There you are. What took so long? Zechariah opened his mouth, but still no words came out. Uh, didn't catch that. Zechariah gestured wildly, attempting to explain. <gasps> oh, charades. I love charades. Um, mouth, duck lips, open, shut. Oh, 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 you can't talk. Why not? Something tall, wings, um, ostrich, flamingo. Aha, angel. You saw an angel. Although he couldn't speak, Zechariah finished his time of service and returned home. And in a short time, Elizabeth found out that she would indeed have a child. The Lord has done this. He has been kind to me. At last, the time came for Elizabeth to have her baby. Well, bless your heart if he don't have quite the pair of lungs. He's beautiful. Just look at that head of hair. Eight days after the baby was born, friends and relatives gathered for his naming. His name will be Zachariah, of course. Oh, after his daddy. No, he must be called John. John? Honey, nobody in your family has that name. It ain't right. Everyone turned to Zechariah. Zachariah, that boy needs a proper name. Still unable to speak, Zechariah gestured. Oh, 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 charades again. Hold on. A uh, stick, a uh, carrot, a... Uh, ooh, he needs something to write with. As soon as Zechariah had a tablet and quill in hand, he wrote quickly. What does that say? I can't see. 
His name is John. Well, bless my heart if Zachariah ain't talking again. <laughs> Praise God. His name is John. John, you like that, don't you, little one? Everyone was filled with fear and wonder as the news spread through the hill country. It was clear the Lord was with John. What is that child gonna be? So what seemed impossible had become possible. God had given Zechariah and Elizabeth a child in their old age. God had taken away Zechariah's speech and then returned it. And then, when John grew older, he would play a very important role in introducing his cousin to the world, Jesus. Isn't that an amazing story? God is able to do the impossible. God displays his love for all of us. Sometimes we're having trouble in school with a certain subject, maybe math or science, or maybe sometimes we're just having a bad day at home, we're fighting with our brother or sister. But you know what? God can do the impossible. So when you're tangled up with any kind of mess, always know that God is right with you and He can do the impossible. Let me leave you with this month's memory verse. God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. Anyone who believes in Him will not die, but will have eternal life. John 3 verse 16. I'll see you guys again next week. Bye!